Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Line Graph A line graph displays data that continuously changes over a period of time. That means that we use a line graph whenever things are changing with period of time. Let us consider an example that somebody falls sick and the doctor maintains a record of the body temperature at different time. Let us consider that he prepares a chart between the time and the temperature At 6 a.m., say the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. At 10 a.m., the doctor finds that the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. At 2 p.m., it is 38 degrees. While at 6 p.m., it is 35 degrees. Now let us plot a line graph for our example. Let us take a graph paper, make an x axis and y axis on it. Mark the time 6 am, 10 am, 2 pm, and 6 pm on the x axis and temperature on the y axis. Also mark a jagged line on the y-axis as we are not marking temperatures from 0 to 34 and straight away we are taking 34 degrees Celsius. Now we start with plotting of the data. At 6 am the temperature was 37 degrees Celsius. So we will have a point here. Let us mark it as A. Similarly, at 10 am, temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. So we will have to mark a point B here. So we get a point B. Now similarly, let us mark for 2 pm and 6 pm also. And we get points. C and D on the graph. Now it remains to join A to B, B to C and C to D. Joining A to B will look like this and finally joining C to D gives us a linear graph. From the graph we can see the temperature was rising from 6 am to 10 am and it was maximum at 10 am while it started decreasing as the time passed by and was minimum at 6 pm. Let us read the question on the slide. The given graph represents the total runs scored by two batsmen A and B during each of the 10 different matches in the year 2007. Study the graph and answer the following question. Before answering the questions, let us study the graph. We notice that the matches are mentioned on the x-axis and they are 10 in number while the runs code are mentioned on the y-axis. Also it is given that dotted lines are the runs made by batsman A and complete line is representing the runs scored by batsman B. Now let us start with 
first part of our question which says that what information is given on the two axes we have already discussed it but we need to pen it down we will say that x axis represents the matches played in year 2007 and y axis represent the runs code second part of our question reads that which line shows the runs scored by batsman a we have already seen that the dotted line shows runs scored by player a third part of the question reads that were the runs scored by them same in any match in 2007 if so in which match to find the answer to our question let us consider each match one by one and see if the two graphs meet on the first match batsman a made 20 while batsman b made 60 runs b made 40 in the second match while a made 115 in the second match likewise on in the third match both of them made different runs in the fourth match both the graphs are meeting at 60 and that means both of them made 60 runs in the fourth match we proceed to the fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth match and see that only in the fourth match both of them made 60 runs hence our answer is that during fourth match both made 60 runs let us read fourth part of our question among the two batsmen who is steadier how do you judge it to answer our question let us study the graph of batsman a and b separately for batsman a we see that he scored 20 115 then he scored 0 then he scored 60 20 90 again 35 75 0 and 45 that means sometimes he is scoring very high well sometimes he is scoring very low and there are very deep valleys in the graph now let us study the graph of batsman b he scored 60 then 40 then 50 60 then 45 45 then he scored 100 then he scored 60 then he scored 55 and then he scored 60 that means although he has not scored as high as 115 but 
he has never scored below 40 and there are less ups and downs in the b's graph as compared to the a's graph so we can say that b's graph is more consistent and he is more reliable batsman hence we will answer that batsman a has more ups and downs in his graph while b has a more consistent graph also b has not scored less than 40 runs hence b is a steadier batsman